Hi, my name is Dr. Ankur Fathar Pekar and I'm a structural interventional cardiologist. Today I'm going to talk about transcatheter aortic wall implantation or replacement. Now we go to meaning of each word. Transcatheter means through the catheter. Aortic wall, that is the wall which is beneath the main artery which is the aorta and above the left ventricle which is the chamber, main chamber of the heart. Implantation or replacement means you are replacing or implanting a new wall in the place of an old wall. So that's the full form of transcatheter aortic wall implantation. Aortic stenosis is the disease of the elderly. Aortic wall is one of the four walls of the heart. As you age, there is calcification which comes in the wall, the wall stiffens and the wall doesn't open up. When the wall doesn't open up, all the pressure comes into the left ventricle or the left chamber of the heart back to the lungs. Therefore, the patient gets breathless and has chest pain. And few years later, the patient can also get syncope or blackouts in front of the eyes. This is fatal. Aortic stenosis till now did not have any treatment which could be done non-invasively. That means every patient had to undergo the surgery. But now we have this revolutionary therapy of which we have been pioneers in the city of Mumbai where we can replace the wall without opening the heart and this is called as TAVI. So TAVI is done under sedation. There is no general anesthesia given. That means the patient is not on the ventilator. Patient preoperatively, once the aortic stenosis is diagnosed with 2D echo and you know that all the symptoms of breathlessness, chest pain, blackouts are due to aortic stenosis, what you first do is a CT scan. A CT scan is the most important investigation in the entire procedure because TAVI, unlike coronary angioplasty, is all about planning. So 90% of the case is then pre-procedures. All your planning happens pre-procedure. Like on the CT scan, you size your aortic wall, what size of wall you have to put, how much calcification is there, how, how the coronary arteries or the arteries supplying the heart are away from this wall. Because when you put this wall, they should not go and obstruct the arteries of the heart. What is the size of the lower limb arteries from where you are going to take the wall across? So all these minute details are planned on the CT scan. And once you know that this wall is the perfect fit for this patient, you go ahead with the procedure. The procedure is done under sedation. It's a conscious sedation. It's a new type of sedation wherein the patient is not put on the ventilator. Once the patient is taken up on the table, a small puncture is done in the lower limb and arterial axis is taken. Well, through the access, the valve is taken across the native wall or the diseased wall. And once you confirm the position on the fluoroscopy, you open up the wall completely. The balloon is then taken out and the new wall sits in place. This procedure takes around 45 minutes to one and a half hours. Post procedure, the patient is observed in the ICU for a day. If the patient is all okay, there are no complications, the patient can go home the next day. That's the beauty of the procedure. A surgical procedure if done might take around seven days of stay with the cut on the chest. This procedure, you can send the patient home the next day. Now, what are the complications of the procedure? Every procedure, every surgical procedure comes with its set of complications. And when we counsel our patients, we make it a point that not only we tell the benefits of the procedure, but also the complications which are associated with it. The most common complication which we have seen is the complication of the lower limb. So from where you take the valve across to the arteries, once you remove the valve, sometimes it doesn't close down. That time we have to put a small stent there so as to stop the bleeding from the lower limb. That's a manageable complication and we anticipate it. The second most common complication which we have seen is requirement of a pacemaker. What is a pacemaker? A pacemaker is a machine which is put non-invasively to increase the heart rates of your heart. Sometimes your, when you put the ball, the heartbeats can go down and the patient might require a pacemaker. The chances of that happening are 1 to 5%. And again, this complication is manageable. The rest of the complications are very, very rare. Overall, the complication rates are very low. These complications can be anticipated and manageable adequately. Post-op follow-ups in TAVI, there is only one follow-up which is required seven days post-operatively to see what, what is happening with the valve, whether the valve is functioning well. After that, the patient can have a six-monthly or a yearly follow-up also. So transcatheter aortic valve implantation is a revolutionary therapy wherein without opening the chest, you can replace the valve from the leg arteries 
this procedure is with minimal complications with high degree of success and not only for high risk patients but also in low risk patients this can be now offered this therapy is beautiful in terms of the amount of post op care which is required is much much lesser than that with an open heart surgery thank you